Hello and welcome to highlights of the fourth day of this fourth Garden Cricket Test match. I'll be totally honest with you, I can't remember who's batting or what the state of the game is. But anyway, here are your highlights. An early wicket was what was required and it came when swing ball was bowled for two in the second over of the morning. That brought Kid Scooter out to the middle who likes a quick single and straight away first ball look at the speed of the kid scooter scrambling through there much to the annoyance of the fielding side as the kid scooter off the mark with the single but it was the large garden bench who was doing damage he was playing some lusty blows opening his shoulders and taking the garden furniture into the lead but then the kid scooter Fun was almost brought to an end with a searing delivery that lifted, nipped away and just beat the outside edge. But you felt, you felt it was only a matter of time. And there it was, bowled round his legs, the kid Scooter. So, another wicket falls. That brought out the step ladder. Eight down, lots of jokes about the band steps. And he went, first up. Top of the off stump, nine down, spin into the attack and the end of the innings as the random plastic box with the garden hose nozzle in it was bold first ball, meaning 130 all out, the lead was 40, but the wall was on fire and in the very first over, the nudger got a brute of a delivery, gloved it into the gully and was caught by the little garden bench, naught for one, a horrible, horrible start. The Nerdler was joined by the cameo. The Nerdler, of course, 26 in the first innings, a partnership needed, and the yeah. Nerdler nerdled and got himself moving. But it was the cameo who once again was catching the eye as the sun came out. He likes to bat with the sun on his back, does the cameo, and immediately... He was into his cameo-esque stroke play, much to the delight of not only the Nerdler, but the huge crowd that was inside the back garden to watch this fourth yeah. day. And he was just playing drives as if he was laying a knife through butter. And yeah. look at that drive again. It was just it was just beautiful, beautiful to watch from the cameo. I think that may have been a repeat of the, the last clip that we saw. Anyway, 50 partnership came up, but then the Nerdler went after T. The Nerdler going straight away after T. Remember, it was 60 for two. That brought the Maverick out, but just as the Maverick was facing up for his first delivery, the rain started to fall, and the Maverick did not want to be out there with the rain falling. It's such a crucial, crucial stage of this test match. The rain got heavier, so the players were taken off by the umpires and look the heavens opened but the garden furniture staying out there for some strange reason decided to stand in the rain we did get back out there again but as soon as we were out there guess what happened everybody it started raining again rain rain go away come back another day preferably not tomorrow because we've still got another day of this test match but it got heavier and it got heavier and it meant that the umpires called it time on this the fourth day so going into the final day tomorrow look at that duck that's not moving that duck there on the end of the cover somebody have a word with that duck going into tomorrow all results are still possible.